that's the problem. Like I've just always dated some famous girl, I feel like for the last like eight years. So that's like my- Whoa, um, casual flex. Oh, f please. What the- f <laughs> Let's go home. Welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience. Uh, I am uh, your- uh, uh, No, 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 <laughs> no. What we're not gonna start with this week is Mr. Controversial. I just like miss the days when he was just like wholesome Joe, you know, doing fear factor hosting. My favorite part is that apparently he was just stoned to the bone the entire time. Oh, fear factor? Like taking 600 milligram edibles and just sitting there going, and now we're gonna eat spiders. Wow. Yeah. Wow. My favorite actually is the, remember the time that I tried to convince you that Joe Rogan and when he was on a reality TV show was mildly attractive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Jeremy pulled up, the, what, like, what show was that? It was literally a show where he played himself-ish. His name was Joe, yeah, on the show, you're right. At like a radio station. Oh, oh, that was like the premise of like the I think sitcom? So. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. If you ever it. get bored, probably don't look it up, but you know, he still. He looked different with hair pre-steroids. You don't think he's on steroids, do you? <laughs> you know what? Someone's neck does not get that thick by um, natural forces. I just want to know like, when you're on them and you see your neck becoming the size of a natural tree trunk, tree trunk, tree trunk, <laughs> tree trunk like at what point in time do you go, meh, maybe these are enough. You know what? That's probably like a neck dysmorphia thing mm. where they don't realize. Well, everything else gets so big. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, whatever uh, steroids Jeff Bezos is on, I think I'm gonna pick those up in my yeah. head. Yeah. He, honestly, his body looks like so just like naturally fit that maybe he's not even on anything. Realistically between Bezos and Musk getting his hair back. Like if you ever see pictures of like Elon Musk. That's right. When he sold PayPal. Oh my God, yes. He looks like he's 30 years older than he is today. Yes, a hundred percent. What's that What's that quote? Um, um, what, money can't buy happiness? Bullshit. No, 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 no. Um, there, uh, there's no such thing as ugly. There's just such thing as poor. Is that what the quote is? <laughs> Listen, I don't stand by it. I don't stand by it whatsoever, but TikTok the other day was showing me this TikTok of these two girls who had this in, they were twins actually, they were twins. I think they're models now, but they had this like insane transformation, even like the Kardashians, like what they, what? I mean, not ugly by any means before all of their surgeries. But they had like, surgeries? Are they okay? I don't, you know, I, in the healing process. Didn't Kylie just have a second child? Yeah, she did. Hey, congrats Kylie. Someone was telling me that they think the kid's name is like like Seth. No, Seth. It was it was like Ken or like Brad. Like Ken. No, but like something so fucking like like basic white kid boy. Like Is it for, a boy? Yeah, it's a boy. Wow. I know. Cause they were Stormy and it's like, okay, that's like such a cute, like cool, unique name. And then like do we have Stormy names for, and do we have Brad. names for kids. Someone was actually asking about that if there we have like a notes app baby name list. We don't. We don't, we don't. Okay, but on the count of three, yeah. name our son. Okay. One, two, three, Jeremy. Riley. Ew, what Ew, the gross, fuck? not Jeremy, no, Jeremy. Not Let's do it again, is it Riley? Yeah, Riley. Okay, well, mine was a name. joke, Riley? That's a good name. I, I like that name actually is a unisex name. Oddly enough, I actually, in my head, as a high schooler, college, at some point in time in my life, yes, had thought that I wanted to name my son, Caden, but now my half brother is named Caden. So that's kind of weird. That's super weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's super weird. That's yeah. a no, that's a How no. How about Greg? No, I don't know. I just like, I think it's, I don't, I, I think that in Greg's families, a great man. It's a, Greg is a great man. Greg Lewis. Greg, Greg is coming. Gregory Lewis. Uh, like get, get like, that is like the most like basic, like you will always be able to find your name on a keychain. Greg Lewis. If your name is Greg Lewis. So you don't like Greg Lewis? No, it's not for me. I, I just think that like when you have, when you like, when you birth a new offspring, like it's time, you, you can bring a new name into the family. Okay, go ahead. I think, I think Riley's a good name. I think actually Seth is kind of a cute Seth? name. Seth? Yeah, cause I, I grew up watching the OC and like Seth was such like a wholesome character. I mean, um, what else do we got? Thor. Thor, no, that's a dog name. That's exclusively a dog name. Um, uh, um. I don't hate the name Ryan. Okay. Actually, our friend just named their daughter Ryan, which I think is so cute. I like Ryan for a girl. Yeah, Ryan for a girl I like is Ryan. so yep. cute. Yep, how about Johnny? No. Walker. No. Blue. Oh wait, Walker is kind of a cute name. Walker Lewis? Walker Lewis? Walker, mm, Lewis ruins it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what about like Leo Lewis? Chuck. No. Well, I love an alliteration. Yeah, love an alliteration. Lance. No. 
Lolly. Lolly? Leo. Leo's Leonardo. I guess we have a friend with a baby named Leo. But also by the time we have kids, that Leo that we know will probably be like seven by then. Well, they don't trademark them. You can use them again. Yeah. I actually saw this TikTok of this girl who, so I saw this TikTok. <laughs> of this girl who had, and I'm sure it was pregnancy hormones as well, just like swirling, but another mommy blogger, or just blogger influencer who was also, also blogger is like, that's completely phased out. I don't know why I'm still saying that. Blogger? Yeah. Mm. This- I'm gonna start introducing you as a blogger. Influencer, that just ages you, honestly. I want your girlfriend to, oh, she's a blogger. And I was gonna be like, oh, he's, he's, he's 40, okay. <laughs> Anyways, this girl who um, is pregnant, she, I guess, follows some other influencer who maybe shares a bit of the same audience and she announced like her, her baby's name. And I guess it was the same name that this girl was trying to name oh. her baby, complete mental breakdown. Oh. Yeah, it was tough. Okay. It was tough. And, and girl names? Um, We're not gonna have a girl, it's okay. <laughs> I, uh, does any of that pass down in like your genes? Does any of what pass down in like? Your genes? Does any of like the the uh, the like through your genetics? If there's more, like you know how like when a family has like ten girl children or whatever, uh -huh. and like does that does any of that pass down? Like the likely like the likelihood of um, what gender your baby's gonna be? I um have never been less versed <laughs> on a subject. <laughs> I don't know why we're trying to tackle this of all. But people. comment below <laughs> if you have an opinion whether or not it's researched or not. We'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. I know that that uh, uh, identical twins mm -hmm. get passed down in genetics. Well, I know that after- But skip, but skip um, um, one generation. Well, I know that after we talked about our blood type, our child would have died yeah, what 20 years ago. Fuck? Also for the amount of people who knew that, I that's just like not something that has ever, ever, ever crossed my path. So I'm a life. positive, you're a negative, and you're the problem. You're the problem. Uh, well, I mean, realistically, we're both the problem, but the problem right. is that- I've never felt less compatible with you. O positive and A, or O positive and A negative. A negative, I gotta be honest, just sounds- <laughs> I had uh, no idea what my blood type was until literally a couple months ago. And A minus in Canada is like 83, right? A minus in Canada is a pretty good grade, yeah. But like, what's the grade again? What, like uh, 80 something? No, A minus would probably be like a, a high 70 maybe. No way. See, you, okay, we no we way. have this we have this we have this discussion no, at least once a month. It's a ten point system for sure. I don't think it works like that. Sep, you can have you can get seventy out of a hundred and get an A minus. No, no, no. Seventy out of a hundred. Seventy to hundred is definitely somewhere in the B. Oh my god! Next time I go to school, I'm going to Canada. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty great. Aside from actually the shit show, actually Canada is like having a fucking complete political meltdown right now. Okay, we're not even gonna get into it. We're not a politics show. Not not proud to be a Canadian currently. Not okay. proud. Okay. Um, well, anyway, uh, I'm back. <laughs> You're back. I got so much FOMO today watching all of the positive reception and people telling me that I wasn't necessary on this show. That's how I felt when I left for the cottage and you and Remy did a great episode and there was a ton of great feedback. That's exactly how I felt. And Gotta if you're Matt King, um, don't feel bad because she didn't call that episode out. You didn't feel it when Matt was here or what? I did feel like, but you guys had like your bro moment. You know what I okay. mean? Like that, like Remy, it it's was It's not like, a competition. It's not a competition whatsoever. Um, but I had the most FOMO with Remy. Also because like Remy has officially done the podcast, the podcast, the podcast, Four times. Do we like cut her a check or how's this work? Well, we said that for the hundredth episode, it can be a just Remy episode. Is how we're how we'll celebrate for I the hundredth episode. Just Remy. And then obviously we pay her for whatever that is. Yes. Okay, yeah, got yeah. It. She, she can, she do, can make the ad dollars there. But she does the ad reads as well, right? Yeah, of course. She's gotta do the whole thing. Okay, the full good. lift if she wants good. to, yeah. <laughs> do one day we just do pretty basic and they just do well tonight. Don't say anything. That would be see so how it goes. fucking funny. Just a literal like like when we say pod swap, it means that like, we pod all do. swap. This is pod swap. What if it was like a game where you had to, if you got tagged, you had to swap with somebody else. They didn't have a choice as to whether or not you took over. Okay. And then you had to then take over for somebody else. That's a great concept. It's a very stressful concept that makes me a little bit itchy. But then like you can't get like no tag backs. Right, right. Like punch buggy, no punch back. A, I like literally <laughs> to the definition Punch buggy, no punch back. Punch buggy, no punch back. So Jeremy's back and we did an Asian Girl Squad episode with me and my three besties last week. And it was honestly so much fun. Um, was it fun? Completely sober. The room was a hundred degrees afterwards. And I just feel so bad for the person who has to manually edit all the captions because it was 
fucking mass chaos, mass hysteria of the four of us like blabbing over each other. Well, also it's like we have a bit of a, like, a, oh, that's the guy's voice. That's not the guy's voice. Yes. Or like it's the guys and there's two women to discern from versus right. like just four just women. Blah, 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 At least we have like the acoustic treatment in here now. Otherwise it would just yeah. be like an echoey mess. Oh my God. Yeah, it was a hot mess. Anyways, we had so much fun and it was great. And people, people, the people want to know, the people of the good pod, the people of the pod, the good people of the pod want to know if um, we'll ever see a boyfriends episode from the Asian girl squad boyfriends. No. <laughs> no, we won't. So I was, when I was reading comments, I literally was like, I don't think Jeremy would be capable of wrangling that. Whether or not I'm capable or not does not mean it's something I'm interested in bringing out of my life. Right. Yeah, yeah. I There are very, very, very few people who, and credit to, I don't know, drama and performing as a child, know how to use a microphone, know how to, I don't know, remotely tell a story in a way that might be even a little bit entertaining. Right. It's not normal. Right. And I think also like the We're sociopaths. four the four girls, like us four, have been best friends for so long. But like the guys are all random tangents of different walks of life that have been brought in. Okay. Like the girls are the connecting piece, right? Because like not to say that you and Jerry wouldn't be friends outside of us, but mm -hmm. like you and Jerry's past in life probably would not cross. I have a lot of dental friends. Right. No, we wouldn't, but uh, <laughs> I'm just offended because now I, I feel like it's a challenge, but uh, you can win this um, without question. I have okay. no interest in Are you sure you don't, wanna, you don't wanna win this? You don't wanna I wrangle? I would rather do a podcast with all of Asian Girl Squad without mm. you than I would their boyfriends. That'd be a good episode too, actually. Yeah. Just one of the girls. Yeah, just, yeah. One, just one of the girls. One of the, one of the gals. I can hang. Yeah, you can totally hang. I out. love talking with girls. Yeah. I think it's fun. It is fun. I, it is, like, so you know, some guys, I think that's like their worst nightmare. Yeah. I, I genuinely think, and maybe it's just because like, single mom, I'm used to hanging out with women alone. Like, I think it's hilarious because for whatever reason, it's like you get targeted with like the, wait, hey, okay, walk me through this real quick as if I have like some knowledge to me just because like I have a penis and you vice versa. Do. What do you, you mean? You have a penis perspective. I do have a, 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 as we call it, double P. A double P. Yeah. You have the PP. I have the PP. Yeah. You have the PP. I have the PP. <laughs> Confirmed. But, but it's true, it's true. And like, I love and hanging out. And you have the VP? The, wow, I think that makes me elite. It really does. It's not a competition, but but if it were, I'm the VP, that's sick. <laughs> if that's, yeah, yeah, okay. Attracts, I'm with you. Um, And then I, I think I love hanging out with guys because it's just like so easy. Like- What do you mean? I don't know, like guys just like don't, it's, it's easier, They're, it's just like low, low pressure. Like you're like the conversation can be as slow as you want it to be. <laughs> hmm. It's just like so much easy. It's just, it's so relaxing to be a bro. Well, I will say at any point in time, you just ignore somebody. That's the end of that. Yeah. Like it, the only time we stay on a topic is if we can sense the other person's uncomfortable or doesn't want to talk about it. Right. But like as, as, assuming you just don't respond to somebody, that might be the end of your friendship. Totally. You might never talk to them again. Yeah. You might be best friends for 18 years and like one day you just don't respond and like, that's crazy. I think what Wonder it is, is, is that like, maybe the girls that I hang out with too are like, their emotional intelligence is pretty high. Not to say the guys. Okay, I, how is this all I becoming? Know, I know, I know. I, I don't mean for it to be like this, but it just, I think in the past couple, you know what it is, is that we had a lot of bros here who were stoned out of their mind for like multiple days in a row. And so I think just like after that experience, I was like, that was so relaxing. To be fair, they are quite easy to- Oh yeah. You come downstairs and you're like, um, it would be nice if you showered and like, and they come down and just like, we are quite low maintenance. Did, like, we, did we talk about like your, like any of that? We did, yeah, we, we, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did, we did, we did, yeah. Where were you? Uh, you didn't watch that episode? No, I did. Rude. I think I think I actually reviewed that one and you didn't. Fair. We circle back on Fair. that. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Anyways, what's up? What's up, Shaboob? What's new? Everything's fucking amazing. That's so good. Everything. Wow. Is good. He's elated. I am. I didn't even sleep last night and I'm feeling great. I know. And you, you know what though? You've been getting so much regular sleep that your yeah. eyes, I feel like have regained their the truth, their, their, truth yeah. their purpose and their sanity. I feel good. good. Like last night I was like pumping away at work and like getting shit done. I felt good about it yeah. versus like, I'll never get this all done. It's gonna be terrible. I'm not even phased when I wake up by myself anymore. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's not probably because it's like alarming as to like the testament of how often you don't sleep, but it's like become so common that I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. 
I, I noticed that like a vast majority of the people that I work with, like keep chanting the same mantra of just like yacht money that I've you know jokingly said since I was, I don't know, 25 years old. Mm-hmm. So that must be a thing that I like live in my head and like say in, in, in social circles. So hopefully we get some yacht money sooner than later. I think I would actually now, I don't want yacht money. I want friends who have yacht money, but oh. I want money to retire. To be clear, I never said I wanted a yacht. Okay, good. I want an option to buy a yacht. Oh, got it. Okay. I don't want That's great. That's great. Okay. I, I want like- friends with yachts. Right. Got it. Yes. That makes more sense. Yes. That makes me feel better. If you're on birth control, remembering to renew your prescription and taking your pill every day is already enough work. Forget going to the doctor in person to get your prescription and picking it up from the pharmacy. Life is getting too busy and there should be an easier way. The Pill Club wants to help take that work out of taking care of your reproductive health. The Pill Club is a birth control subscription prescribed by a medical professional and delivered straight to your door for free. The Pill Club carries over 120 FDA approved brands. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 per month without insurance. The Pill Club delivers birth control to your door for free in discreet packaging, along with fun self-care gifts and goodies. You'll actually find yourself looking forward to your delivery each month. Right now, when you go to thepillclub.com slash wild, the Pill Club is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every wild till nine listener who becomes a patient. Your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's thepillclub.com slash wild to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. Remember thepillclub.com slash wild. You must use the link to make a donation. No, I feel great though. Everything, I was gonna say knock on wood, but fuck it. Everything's great. Oh my God. Tomorrow's this, a big day. Tom- what's happening tomorrow? It's, uh, the first day of a potential new assistant for me. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I've been begging. You've been begging, begging. for maybe what, a couple weeks now? I would say about a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. About, a, about a year and a half. Uh, yeah. And we'll, By the way, could be one and done. Could be one and done. We don't know. But these are the steps that need to be taken to start the process. And I am, I am, I am happy. I'm so happy. Well, I now have enough work outside of work to merit having a assistant here 20, 30 hours a week. So it's like, right. that that makes sense. Yeah, no, that totally, that totally makes sense. I'm so, so having an assistant is the most life-changing thing that I have ever done for my career. Having an editor and having a an assistant, life-changing. I'm, I am very excited about the whole idea. Yeah, I think like- and, Any advice? Um, the efficiency of your assistant entirely relies upon your ability to organize. Fuck. And delegate. Fuck. The entire efficiency. Like the only way that an assistant works, and it's kind of the same with therapy. It's like, you only get out of it what you put into it. To be fair though, I don't like being unprepared. Yeah, I I can't see you just being like, "Mm, let's wing it. Yeah, like it would annoy me having someone just go, nothing again today. Okay, cool. Yeah, that like also like I feel uncomfortable. I feel, I feel bad because like, even though, even though my assistant is on salary, like right. I want them to feel like fulfilled and like have things to do too. So I feel bad oh. when there's like nothing happening. I told this kid, don't do not take this gig. If, if you want to finish school. Right. <laughs> I was like, if you do, if you do this, just, you know, I'm sure his mother would be elated to hear that. If it all works out, like yeah. you're dropping out of school. Right. Like I'm going to do everything in my power to, and, like, and for context, it's someone who's working on getting a degree in blockchain. Right at USC, so it's like, it's very close I can't home. believe there's a degree in blockchain now. It's a minor. But still. It's a minor. But still, that's fucking wild. Trust me, I know. That's that like how 2022 of us to and like I, have that option. Like I jokingly asked him today, I was like, how is it going on? Like, it was like, and he was like, that was good. I was like, what the fuck do you even like learn now? He's like, oh, we like learned about like how like Ethereum's made. I was like, well, like Solidity. And he's like, yeah, you do though, all that stuff. I was like, guess, yeah. Like I never learned this shit. Yeah, right. He's learning it. Yeah. From a professor. Yeah. That's so crazy. Oh, I cannot wait until the day that um, I accept to go like actually teach some course, having not graduated college, just so I can laugh at my mother and be like- I was like, gonna say, this is, this is a Donna. Donna, oh my God. 
We this, love a good grudge. Oh God, yeah. The Lewises love a grudge. Love a grudge. The Lewises love a grudge. Well, my mother could speak to the last time she saw her <laughs> first husband not like put down the toilet seat. I mean, we just remember uh, these things like it was our job. Uh, sounds I'm super healthy. I'm excited. <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. I'm so happy for you. And I think that these are the steps, the necessary steps that you need for survival. Well, I looked at my general like business life this last year and I was like, okay, you you can afford these things. Yeah. You can even afford to waste these things. Like, yeah. make this a lesson, figure you know, it out. You know what you can't afford though? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, you can afford it. You just don't have it. It's uh, the Tesla that's about to go on one year of being ordered. <laughs> when I asked people, I was just like, what do you guys want us to like chat about on the pod today? A lot of people were like, oh, like where where's the, the Tesla update? The Tesla update is that there is no Tesla update. No, actually the update is they pushed it back by the most that it's ever been pushed back. Cause normally they do it by like a few weeks at a time, which is like honestly kind of torturous. Like it would be better if they were just like, hey, sorry, six month delay. But we really mean it this time. We really mean it this time. And so they gave you what, like a month and a half on your ETA? April, fucking April, the end of April. That's exactly when you ordered it. End of April, because my mom was here on her birthday and that is when you, because I remember you woke up one morning. When I pull up with a Prius, <laughs> when I pull up with a, a nice, a gently used Prius. Prius is they are great. Priuses are great. They're fantastic. You know what they do? Yeah. Drive. They do. They do. I mean, I'd love to say that like, I'll think about the money <laughs> I've saved, but the amount of Uber black cars that I've called here and there, I don't really know if I have saved. You, I'm sure that you've saved. It's not I mean, like, it's not like your, your, you know, your monthly payment was going to be, um, you know, that of a used Corolla. Anyways, it's the, it's the, um, I have no car. It's, it's the no car situation. Yeah. But, but um, I know I'm like, I'm nervous because I, I had a very not traditional career trajectory. Uh -huh. I was never a coordinator. I never had an internship. Mm -hmm. I never had an assistantship. Like mm -hmm. assistantship. <laughs> I've never been an assistant. Yeah. I like genuinely, I'll never forget the time that I answered a phone and my buddy Jason Certain literally goes, You actually answer the phone like that? I was like, well, what do you mean? He goes, Oh shit, that would have been like fucking broken out of you <gasps> if you were an assistant. Like, what oh do you yeah, mean? because he's a, he was an agency assistant, right? And he was a Fucking savant. I mean, the wait. Man, so, how did you answer, it and how were you supposed to answer it? Uh, I think he just says, "This is Jason," or something like. Like when he answers, it's very much just like confirms. Yeah. Oh, I see. But sometimes I don't want them to know who they've got, so right. I don't really name say my fucking. You know, that's the problem. Like I've just always dated some famous girl. I feel like for the last like eight years, so that's like my whoa um, casual flex. Oh fucking please. What the? F <laughs> okay, go ahead. Continue. Could you? I couldn't let that just like feel just like pass on. Go ahead. Actually, your fans aren't. I've never had a problem with your fans. Uh, with phone stuff? Yeah. No, no, never. My never, old never, phone never. line used to always get just fucking just hit. Yeah. I feel like I feel like things might have been different um five years ago when my audience was a little bit younger. But now people are yeah. like our age and they're like, I would never call your personal phone. Now just random people call my phone. Hey Jeremy, um, it's and me you're from like they're like, Sports should, I, should like, I confirm this call of someone like, that already dude. knows who I am? I'm like, uh no. Anyway, I'm just really excited. Things are good. I've got sight on some, might be some of the most impressive deals I've ever touched. Outside of the crypto arena? Inclusive of. Okay. That I'm working on. Uh huh. In fact, I've got one in the works. Could be bigger. Could be bigger. We don't know. Could be bigger. Could be smaller than me. And it'll be one of those things like the crypto arena that we'll hear about eventually in the future. If it does end up happening and it ends up being really cool, you'll hear, you'll hear about it later. A lot later, but yeah. A lot later. But like shit is like fucking cool. I'm so happy for you. And you? I don't know what you're hinting towards. So we did a big thing today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So today- You used a teleprompter. Is, I used a teleprompter. <laughs> um, I've actually, I love reading off teleprompters. So like all of the Craftopia hosting part of like the two camera stuff mm -hmm. is all from a teleprompter. And it's, I aside from being, Slightly um, blind? Yeah, visually impaired and having to have like, so basically teleprompters, you set the speed and they um, like move as you're speaking. And so sometimes, especially with Craftopia, the teleprompter is way across the room. And so it's like, I have one giant word on every line and it's very difficult. No one is a fan of me on a teleprompter, but I love a teleprompter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, try, try not to squint so I don't look like I'm squinting on camera, but still trying to read the lines. Anyways, I got a teleprompter because for the crypto social media accounts, um, not a YouTube channel. I've Stop talking about crypto. 
I know, I know. Well, no, okay. I, honestly, it was the most asked question when I put out a little a little feeler for today's combos what do you mean? on Instagram. Like when I was like, hey, what do you guys want us to chat about today? That was the most asked question is to what talk was? about um, the Instagram and TikTok I'm starting. You excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. When's the last time you started a new channel? Fucking for, oh, well, that's not true. I started a new vlog channel about three years ago. And it's been it crushing. Like fresh starts. Um, but yeah, so I've got lordiy.eth, E-T-H. Um, which will make sense once you, which will make sense once you start learning about all this stuff. But I've got that on Instagram and TikTok because I know that it makes very much a lot of sense to keep this stuff all separate. Um, but I wanted to make crypto and NFT content that like actually feels like English um, because I have been in the position of not knowing what the fuck is going on and not knowing where to start. So I have an eight episode series starting um, first. Like I'm just gonna- Soonish. Soonish, like probably, honestly, by the time, time this podcast, yeah. yeah, it'll be up. Um, You'll be the most famous crypto influence by the time this comes up. Well, I love that. I love that. Well, I love it. So anyways, they are just TikToks and reels. So that means less than 60 seconds. So when I say like eight episodes, that means like little tiny, like little mini episodes of content. That'll mini sods. Mini sods that'll just all go up at the same time. So it's not like you're like not waiting for like, cause TikTok is famous for being like, like for part two. I like follow me for part two. And Did like, you say that? No, fuck that. Oh no, I was like, if you want to learn about this, like make sure you watch part two because it'll make more sense. You look cute. Did I look cute? I'm not kidding. I I literally was debating, and I could I can't believe that I had to think about this. I was like, will people be will will people be more hateful if I'm talking about crypto and NFTs if I look cute or if I look bad? So you always look cute. No, but like if I were to dress like really grubby, like would Got people it. be nicer to me no. about, and yeah, that's what that's what Mia said. She was like, honestly, she's like, just fucking own it. Like, where would you want to wear, look cute and like do your thing. Feel good. Feel good. So I did, wore a cute little corset and it was very cute. My hair looked good today. My makeup was That's what I wear to my normal. Crypto dab as well. Little, little corset. corset. Yeah. 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 I wonder how long it would take one of my like existing clients to be like, we, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I think pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, the new ones, I think it'd be interesting. I think that it would happen immediately. The, to new ones? Someone for them, never met for them to say something about your corset and your chest hair popping out of it? So, someone who's never met me before? Yeah. That'd be very rude. It, but I think that it would be so distracting that it couldn't not be addressed. I think we'll have to try it. Uh, <laughs> I think that with the right booby tape, I could make some serious cleavage out of those. You think so? There. Yeah, I think so. These tatters? Those tatters, those tatter tatters. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so how'd it go? Did it feel good? Good, really good. Yeah, I mean, I spent like three or four days like scripting and researching the fuck out of everything because obviously I'm I have so like an intermediate level understanding of everything, but what like- Intermediate? I would say it's intermediate. I would say it was an advanced intermediate. No, but you're advanced. It was an advanced intermediate. No, I don't think so. Spool. I still I still learned a lot. I still learned a lot. So I spent all this time researching and because like you only get one chance for someone to have a first impression of your content. True. So like these first eight episodes are almost more stressful than anything that else that I'll ever do. So I wanted to script them out very um, carefully to make sure one that they are in English and they like are able to be understood and digestible. Um, and they also to be under 60 seconds. So I had to like kind of do a run through of like how long each section would be. Um, and then I, uh, teleprompters are also like freakishly affordable. What do you mean? They're like a hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. But like you had an iPad as well. Yeah, so you need so. an iPad. I know a lot of people were like, is that how a teleprompter works? I would have no idea how to set up yeah. a teleprompter. So it's an iPad. Well, this is how I learned from Craftopia is that someone stuck their laptop or the iPad in the bottom part. And that's literally all it is. It's an iPad. Even at a professional studio? Yeah, on set, Craftopia, HBO Max, iPad, that's Not what it is. low budget. N no, that's that's like literally what it is, is that you have the iPad, you download a teleprompter app, you um, input your text and then you mirror it. And so then the teleprompter portion is like a two way screen situation because the camera is behind the screen, like the mirror glass, whatever. It shoots through it. And on the other side, the mirrored text is flowing over where the lens is. So the lens obviously isn't recording the text that's in front of it, but you're able to read, able it. To read it. Yeah. And so- Somehow that doesn't math for me, but I get it. Yeah, the math does math if you really think about it, but nope. it's so that you're still making eye contact with the camera, but the words are still flowing right in front of the lens. Right, Cause it looks like you're like staring into the, like, yeah. the lens. Yeah, 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 like yeah. 
are you looking off to the side or yeah, like there's a few episodes in Craftopia actually where the teleprompter was not in the most ideal position. And so, you can see that I'm a little bit off eyeline. No. <laughs> Drives me fucking crazy. I know exactly crazy. what you're talking about. Crazy. It, I understand, I get it. But also if you were a great reader, it'd be very difficult to be a host. A hundred percent. You have to either be yeah. very charismatic, very, with a great memory yep. or great vision. You have to have, um, you have to be a great reader and you have to be, um, or or a great memorizer. Because if you know the script and you're just using it for like keywords, yep. that works too. Um, but I'm a, a Gail, you know, we did maybe speak and typing and we did a whole lot of reading. Love it. Whole lot of reading. So my, my reading skills are very strong. I don't actually do that well with memorization. Oh, me either, trash, absolute yeah. trash. Like, I literally didn't know your phone number until this year or 2021. Well, that part's not that bad. I just, <laughs> when I, M memorize. Wait, we were just talking about this. If we, if like, if you were an actor, what do you mean? Remember, we were talking about how right. like script memorization. I would, I would Fucking, have to be famous, yeah. famous to like, like, so they'd put up with my well, close enough bullshit because right. I would never be able to like remember all those words. Or you'd have to be like Angus Cloud and Euphoria, and then they just let him just do whatever. They just let him say say it how they, he wants to say it. Euphoria, a lot of penises. Whoa! Also, last oh my god! So when this goes up, there'll be a new episode. But the episode that we just watched was right. like Rue. If Zendaya doesn't win a fucking yeah. Emmy, Oscar, whatever, every single award that is possible for her category, oh my god! In fact, she should win a Tony and a Grammy. She win a Tony and a Grammy. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense, but it does. Yeah, she was incredible. Oh my god. Um, she posted- A little dark. Oh, fucking dark as shit. She posted something really good on Instagram, just like about like how emotional and like traumatic and all that stuff is. She posted something really good, but yeah, it's been fucking, Euphoria is such a good show. Every episode we finish it and I'm so mad that the episode's over and it feels like a literal movie. What about Pam and Tommy? We love Pam and Tommy as well too. I cannot believe that's a real fucking story. Isn't that wild? Yes. I don't think I knew. No. I don't think I knew. We won't ruin it, but Pam and Tommy on Hulu is all about Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. There's also one specific scene. Man, the dicks in the media lately have been wild. They, we are making up for lost time. Holy shit. Dicks everywhere. Dicks everywhere. I, Episode but, one but of like, Euphoria was just dicks. I guess it doesn't like, I don't, it doesn't like feel weird. Okay, well, so here's the thing. And there's like media controversy over this is that most majority large portion of all the dicks on screen in the media are prosthetics. Okay. And a lot of the time for boobies, I, I, the Pam, Pam, Lily. Pam's boobies are very much Yeah, fake. Lily James boobies are for Pamela Anderson, that role are super fake. Um, those are two rocks. Those are, those are very large. Um, two watermelons. Yes. Probably two. like a cantaloupe. Yeah. I would say cantaloupe yeah, yeah. is like the right size. Definitely. Um, honeydew? Yeah. Okay. Actually, does honeydew look the same as a watermelon or um, sure. a cantaloupe on the outside? I don't know. I actually have no idea. I don't know. I've never thought about this until right now. Yeah. Anyways, um, I think because like the prosthetic dicks are much more common than like prosthetic anything else on women. Yeah. People are like, mm -hmm. So there shouldn't be prosthetic penises? I just think that they, all the penises have been prosthetics and everyone's like, well, like what about the option to have prosthetics for women? Like, why is this so popular for guys? So there should be like fake boobs over the boobs? Yeah. I don't mind that. It's exactly what, what they're doing for penises. Fake penis over the penis. I don't mind that. Fake pee over the real pee. Remember the penis in that Netflix show? Which one? It was like 97 inches. Holy shit. Did we ever find out if that was real or not? I don't know. No, there's no way that had to be fake. Somebody out there. Somebody out there for sure has it. Someone out there has yeah. the elephant trunk. Yeah, but um, Pam and Tommy is so good. Their TV right now is so good. We're watching Righteous Gemstones, incredible. I, really, just, I mean, streaming all over the place. Euphoria, incredible. Pam and Tommy, love. This podcast, love. Love. Um, what else are we watching? Is that it? Just three shows? Too Hot to Handle and The Bachelor this season are absolute fucking trash, garbage. Oh, I, mean, I love trash TV and this is like garbage TV. Not to be confused with trash TV that's enjoyable. This is just like garbage trash. You know, I just realized what the only just reason realize? that I would watch The Bachelor yeah. and I would watch every fucking second of it mm -hmm. if Harry Jowsey was The Bachelor. <laughs> Wait, that would be so good. That'd be genius. And if The Bachelor is smart, they would offer him the world. They would offer him the world. I think we need to give Harry a few more years though, because like, I think he's still having fun. He's figuring totally. out his business and stuff. But I think in a few years, Harry could be ripe for The Bachelor. Right. Right. You know what though, Harry's better than The Bachelor. The Bachelor is just, it's going downhill. 
you know, I, I don't have that attachment to it, but I'm saying if Harry was The Bachelor, yeah. I would watch. That's how they could revive the show with a fat check to Harry. And that would be the revival of The Bachelor. Or a fat check to me. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. What else is new? Oh, questions, thoughts. We got questions and thoughts. Um, My family's coming this weekend. Are you excited? Yeah. So we, oh wait, actually walk us through. So Super Bowl is this Sunday uh -huh. and then Valentine's Day is the next day. My parents are coming to town on Sunday and we are, or, or, so are you going to the Super Bowl? Maybe. Maybe, I am not going to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to return uh, the jersey. Uh, yeah, we don't know. They said no. So we don't know. Okay, so I won't return the jersey tomorrow? I don't think, here's the thing. I have yet to find us tickets. Okay. I have found me ticket. Okay. I've not found us tickets. Okay. And I'm not interested in going to the Super Bowl by myself. That's so nice. Really? <laughs> okay, yes. so you know what? I'll just, the return policy on Amazon is like pretty flexible. So it looks I'll cute. Just, Why would you return it? I'll just, the, because I have no emotional attachment to the Rams whatsoever. Okay. All also, right. it was a hundred dollars <gasps> for that Jersey. <gasps> Anyways, one, one less thing cluttering the closet. When are we starting, uh, when are we releasing new merch? Um, not sure because when this goes live, I'll have launched my Lord DIY emotional um, hangover. hangover merch. Mm -hmm. I got the sweats on. I got the sweats on. Not a on. commercial. Got the sweats on Not right a now. commercial. Honestly, like we talk about this a lot about how I have an emotional hangover. So you anyways, do. I decided on to- brand. Um, there's that and there's a new plushie. Love. Yeah, so it might be sold out by the time this this comes out because it's coming out on the 14th. Boo. But- Is it with Fanjoy? Yes, yeah, with Fanjoy. Love Fanjoy. Love Fanjoy. I just like, I have I have a, um, a harder time making spring slash summer merch because I'm such a hoodie and sweats kind of bitch that I, I I like a tank top, like I'm doing a tank top for emotional hangover um, drop. But like, I I guess I like an oversized like distressed tee. So we could do something like that. But like- Is there a size for me? A size of what? Emotional hangover things for me? Would you like what? What, what are the options? Of the sizing? Uh, what, what option, what, what, what- um Pieces, pieces? Yeah. We've got the sweatpants, mm -hmm. which have four pockets, five pockets. Yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, but like take that in five pockets. That's insane. No, I get, yeah, I've got two regular pockets, two zippy pockets, and a butt pocket. Okay, quality. Okay, um, we've got the sweatpants. Mm -hmm. We've got the hoodie. Mm -hmm. We've got the oh, hoodie. Great. Hoodie. Mm -hmm. Okay. XL. I'll put your order. Emotional in. hangover. Sign emotional me up, hangover. I don't have emotional hangovers. No, you really don't. I think you're almost annoyed sometimes at how fast I can bounce on back. Yeah. It's like yeah. me and your mom. I know, fucking both of you guys, motherfuckers. I'm like. I'm not ready to be nice to you yet. But we love you. No, I know. I I, I also love you, but I just, need a, I just need a little bit of time to space. I'm mad at you for a little bit more. I just, I need, to, need a little time. Need a little it. time. I get it. Need a little time. So not everyone recovers from the previous fight as quickly. No, and like I strive for that. But um, um, for now I will just, uh, I will just be in my emotional hangover state. I get it. So Babe, you want a plushie? Literally on brand. Uh, what's the plushie of? The plushie is the love letter with the little kawaii face. Nah, I'm okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, what else we got? <laughs> Let me get these questions. Well, no, hang on. What, walk us through our Super Bowl. I feel like we you have a whole Super Bowl weekend plan for us. Oh yeah. Well, we're doing a lot of um, schmoozies. Doing a lot of AEG things AEG down at the things. arena. Okay. okay. Um, well, there is a on Thursday. We are going to a well. I'm going to a big data party. That is literally there's an hour party that is called the big data party. Data, as in like. Like data information, data. In information systems. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool, cool, cool. Did you want to come to that? I cool, got a plus one. Cool, cool, cool. I got a plus one. Will there be snacks and open bar? Uh, eh. Is it before the other thing we're supposed to go to? Yeah. Oh, that was come. Great. Okay. You're going to the data party. I'm going to the data party. <laughs> um, Turn up. Doing a little Bieber. Ah! Doing a little Drake. What? I'm doing a little marshmallow. What the fuck? Doing a little- What are you gonna tell me all this? What is this happening? Where? This weekend. What night? Uh, Friday, Saturday. Where? I don't know if I could tell you that. Ah! That. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. We're doing, we're gonna hang out with Terry Bradshaw. Who's that? Immaculate reception, quarterback. Anyway, um, <laughs> working on a uh, little bit of a, what's great about it is one of my clients uh -huh. represents uh -huh. the winning quarterback. Right, I remember you told me this. Because it represents both. 
winning quarterbacks. quarterbacks. Yeah. Well, no, just both quarterbacks. Yes. So one will yes. win, one will lose. Yes. And so I'm working on making sure that we have the invite to whatever the winning after party would be. Got it. Yep. Got it. want to go. Uh, we got like parties. Like we, we literally have five o'clock parties, seven o'clock parties and nine o'clock parties on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I'm stressed. <laughs> Someone asked me to like go to a breakfast on Friday morning. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I get it. Well, I, I fucked up and I didn't fuck up. I probably should have double checked the scheduling situation. Um, we have got, this comes out on Tuesday. So we are Asian girl squad is taking Remy to drag brunch on Saturday morning. Yeah. And that was maybe not the most strategic timing for me to have a day full of drinking. Well, Lauren got us invited to Andreessen Horowitz party. Love that for us. Nerd. Let's go. I love that. Data party on Thursday, Andreessen Horowitz party on Friday. We are. What do you wear to a data party? What do I wear or what do you wear? What do I wear? You look hot. For the nerds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. You and I, wear? I think I'm about to wear more heels than I've worn for the last 365 days in this like coming up weekend, right? Turn up queen. I hate that for my feet already. Go off. Queen. Sis. 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 Yeah, Sis. it's gonna be fun. And then maybe we'll go to the Super Bowl. Maybe we won't. Okay. Maybe we'll go to Magic Castle. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll go to Aussie thing. Maybe we'll not, you know, we'll see. Wait, no, we don't need to go to Magic Castle. I know, I know that- You I made know. the biggest of deals. That was pre Super Bowl. But we have, what if we don't go to the Super Bowl? Well, we have forty five other events leading up to it. So we're just not gonna do anything for Valentine's Day. I think we just like make because my parents will be here. Let's just do steak and lobster and champagne, and it'll be cute. And we'll just like we can, like sneak sex in our bedroom when they're thirteen I, feet away. I literally want to die thinking about my mom listening to this right now. <laughs> ah, wildly uncomfortable. Well. <laughs> Oddly enough, they're thinking the same thing. Ew, okay, <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> and we're moving on to <laughs> questions. Babe, are you thinking, are you, do you not? We're thinking, we're moving right on over to questions. So do you, All right, do you here we go. Your parents having sex? Okay. Oh, Warren. Um, Jeremy, what is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Thin mints. Absolutely, yeah. Is, are there other Girl Scout cookies? Well, so in Canada, I was always under the impression that we really only had like the thin mint See, and there was like a weird this is the thing vanilla that, yeah. and chocolate one. But this is where Canada begins to to fall off from an, um, an options and supply perspective. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you I told you more. that I used to drive over to Buffalo to get like different sugar cereals. I mean, at any point in time, Buffalo, New York is a better option for optionality. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Literally like the, going to the States. It's like the needle capital of the world. There was like way better like like cracker options and cereal options and cookie options. Cracker options made you think made me think you were not talking about food, but yeah. Yeah. Well Got it. you know, those I'm sure yeah. yeah. Me. Thank Keep you. going. Yeah, thin mint for sure. But no, when I when I moved to the States, I was like, holy fuck, you have so many Girl Scout cookies. Oh, anything that can contribute to our general obesity in There's this country, like we're in. Eight different kinds. I bet more. There's so many. Do you guys have world's finest chocolate? Oh, what's that? Maybe, no, maybe we do. I don't know. What, it's what like is the that? the chocolate bars you sell for fundraisers. Oh, yes, maybe, maybe. Not convincing. Next question. <laughs> um, wow, these, these, these questions are real random, but I really love them. Okay. Um, what's your favorite pasta shape and why? This person said, low key, you give me penne vibes. And I just want to say, I love penne, but also I'm a bow tie kind of bitch as well too, a bow tie and a penne. What about you? Whatever shape someone's just made me <laughs> is my favorite shape. Great answer. My dad would say the exact same thing. Whatever yeah. shape that Gail puts in front of him in a plate. Yeah, no, like that's my favorite. Um, What's your fave thing about living with me? <laughs> um, hmm. Is it that I'm the kitchen fairy, the kitchen elf? Hmm, that's comes pretty nice. In and who comes and cleans all your shit up in the kitchen? Yeah, but that's the kitchen fairy. That's <laughs> right. That's not. That's not me. Comes and cleans things. <laughs> the... um, my favorite thing about living with you uh, is that you're always down to cuddle. Uh huh. I love that. Yeah. And then you go, they and they do this. You run into my arms and meet Snoogle. That's so nice. Um, people want to know if I'm going to have another alt girl phase. <laughs> Babe, what would you do if I wanted to have another alt girl phase? Would you allow it? I'll allow it. Oh, you want to celebrate, you're, you're down with it. No, I don't allow you or not allow you to do anything. Oh, sorry. Yeah, poor, poor choice of you're course. Grown ass up. woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do what you want. Would you be excited about an alt girl phase? Depends how it looks. Okay, I'll take that answer. Uh, I'm open. Yeah. Uh, do I- So I can I, gauge my ears again? I wouldn't, <laughs> uh, on, ah! and on first thought, glance thought, it doesn't exactly excite ah! me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, look, 
No, it's okay. I I have no interest in gauging my ears. I do miss my nose ring though. Gail okay. hated the nose ring. Oh my god, it was such a little cute little nose. Ugh, it, the nose ring was so cute. The nose ring was so cute. I loved it. Your nose ring. You know, though, I feel like like some bitches are just not meant to have a nose ring, and I was one of those bitches. So basically, you get these like these little piercing bumps. I think really, called, your skin turns on you. Yeah. Who would have thought? I know. I know. You I have so many problems. They're called keloids, I think. For for taking care of. So many things. Ugh, I know, at, I'm so fragile. Yeah. I'm so fragile. It's so annoying. I would just love to see what like seven rungs back of our ancestors. Right. Like what of how they were doing. Yeah. 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 Anyways, every every like nose ring phase that I tried to have, I'd get a keloid and I couldn't make it go away. And I tried so many things and I just couldn't make it happen. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just take it out. Anyways, Sorry, so babe. yeah, I don't I just don't know if it's for me. What's uh what's the craziest place you've fallen asleep? I'm not I've, someone I who just, everywhere. I don't really fall asleep random places. <laughs> I once fell asleep on a whale watching excursion. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I can't think of one. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where else I fall asleep. I don't asleep. have like the weird narcolepsy thing that you do. I don't have narcolepsy. I just am a- I can Narcolepsy adjacent. <laughs> narcolepsy adjacent. Pre, pre-narcolepsy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have, I have- uh, You've fallen asleep talking to me multiple times. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> like I'm waiting for the time you're having sex and you just- I just knock out. <laughs> Great visual, by the way. Oh my God. It's like when I when we're having a conversation and my eyes are closed and I'm already laying down and, I, and I'm pretending to myself that I am functioning enough to continue having the conversation and I haven't admitted to either of us mm. that I am, I am 13 seconds away from a deep I, slumber. My, my, I just wish that that was the only, really is the only time that I wish there's a camera following us. Cause like my face is always the same. Just- <laughs> I don't mean it. It's not on purpose. Oh. I I, tr- I promise I'm literally fighting it until I'm unconscious, obviously. Mm. Next question. <laughs> what is your, uh, why is this being so laggy? What's your, uh, what's your death row meal? Also, I heard that they phased that out. Did, well, I think we had this conversation on the podcast. Did we? I think so. Uh, I think uh, bacon wrap filet and an Uncrustable. Okay. <laughs> For that being on your death row, like an Uncrustable, you don't eat Uncrustables ever in real life. Well, I'm trying to live. Uh, you gotta draw a line somewhere. It, oh, it's not the Fruity Pebble waffles that you have every weekend? I don't know why this has turned into another <laughs> insult. I've heard of all of her runs. I think mine would be, um, I think we I think we have had this conversation, because now it's coming back to me. For sure, lobster, yeah. it would be steak specifically, or a bento box specifically from my favorite restaurant in St. Catharines, um, called Amakara, and then definitely a piece of cheesecake. Probably salted caramel cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be lobster, steak, and cheesecake. Yep. Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> and if like, you were to try an Uncrustable, you know, give it a run. I, I like Uncrustables. My, my issue with them is you can't really microwave them. You have to like have the patience. Yeah, to let yeah. them thaw out, yeah. Out, out, out. 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 Like you've been fr- like nowhere near Canada for a decade now almost and like- Thawed out. Thawed out, out, out. I'll eat out. God out. <laughs> um, Jeremy, do you want to get another tattoo ever? Nah, no. How are we doing on the removal over there of the other one? Mm, How's she doing? You know, the metabolism's actually eating away at the skin. I have numbing cream. You should just come with me to my laser place next time. I've already, you know, like started the treatment. So, you know. So, right, but I, I paid for it. So maybe we just keep going back. <sighs> you know, when I get my car. Right. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna put the benchmark of doing things on that timeline and everything, everything is fucked. We'll never have kids. We'll never have kids. You'll never go to the gym. You'll never get your tattoo removed and you'll uh, never have a car. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> but we'll have each other. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, um, oh, actually on the topic of laser, people uh-huh. wanted a cooch laser update. Uh-huh. Um, so I've gone for like probably seven sessions now, maybe six or seven sessions. Okay. Best thing that I have ever fucking done. I am so mad that I didn't do this early on in life. So mad, incredible. And like, I think that I'm a a great candidate for receiving laser because I'm, you know, of medium skin tone. I have very little hair, half Asian situation. And so I am- You are a bit of a hairless mole rat. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, You have a hairless mole rat. A skinny pig. Tendencies. Yeah, a skinny pig. You are a skinny pig. Yeah, thank you so much. (laughs) Um, I've seen you eat. It's a skinny pig. Skinny pig. Um, skinny pigs are different than naked mole rats, so I want to make sure that you understand the difference. Yeah, I think you're like somewhere between. 
Yeah, somewhere between. Yeah. Naked mole rats usually don't have great teeth though. And my parents teeth? spent too much money on braces for great you to say that I am a naked mole rat. You got great toofins. Thank you so much. Great teeth. Um, where was I going with this? Unsure. Oh, my cooch laser. So good. So fucking good. So painless. I use numbing cream beforehand and it just, it like is so Do you totally self-apply it? Yeah. Okay. And then you stick a piece of saran wrap on top and then you let it sit for 45 minutes. You just, you know, drive it around. Do, do, yeah, do, literally do, 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 do. it's, I've never had saran wrap on that area of my body before. And it's- uh, I, I wonder if it's the same for newts. Oh, I'm sure. It's, it's saran wrap is because it holds the, it, it makes it so that the, the cream doesn't get like rubbed off or anything. Mm. And so it absorbs better. Cause like, if you have like cotton or polyester or like whatever it is up against the numbing cream, obviously it just like gets whisked away. Whisked away? Whisked away. Got it. Um, but yeah, Cooch Laser, highly recommend. Oh my God, it is the best. Okay. It is the best. Uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, okay, this isn't a question, but someone actually wanted advice. Statement, oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so they wanted to know how to, this is probably a question for you. Um, oh wait, <laughs> well, okay, it's a question for us. Their question was, how do you sagu into the, where do you think this relationship is going conversation? Sagu, segue, how do you sagu? Um, so anyway, so their message is uh, without it being awkward. I know Jeremy's response will be just to, just to fucking ask, but I need more tips than that. That's not helpful. Uh, no, that's not necessary. No. So they said forceful. sometimes, not sure if this happens to anyone else, but I feel like I just like lose my voice. I can relate to that so much. Like when you have something scary to ask and you just are, it's like in your dream when you can't punch things. I feel the same way. Like when I have something scary to ask, my voice just like, just disappears. Okay. I have an, op I have an alternative. Wait, hang on. There's more. Not sure if this is a deeper issue. I'm not comfortable speaking about my feelings and this being my first situation ship slash non-exclusive relationship. I'm not sure how to talk about my feelings on our situation, unless it comes up naturally, if that makes sense. We were able to talk about our feelings and relationship at the beginning of all of this and agreed to hang on. I'm swiping, 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 swiping. Wiping. We were able to talk about our feelings and relationship at the beginning of all of this and agreed to just have fun and continue to see each other as long as we're both learning and growing together comfortably. Bitch, that's got red flags fucking written all over it. But somewhere along the way, it started to feel like he lost interest in me maybe. I don't know, I overthink everything. Whoa, that thing just kept getting darker. Go ahead, go ahead. I have an alternative to what she thought that I thought I was gonna say. Okay. Let's role play. Okay. I have a weird question to ask. Uh, what's your question? Okay, ask. This is, I feel like it's gonna be weird. I know exactly what Jeremy's doing right now. Good, yeah. great. If you were to like describe how I come off to you, like how my feelings are, like what, what, what do I give off? Are you kidding me? Of a guy, of a, of a guy who doesn't have like, emotional intelligence would literally die if someone asked them that question. Great, let them die first. Like if I think the, of like bros being asked that question, like, no, no, no. Let the guy just sit there and melt into a puddle and yeah. then go, okay, well, I kind of like you still. Like, it'll make you feel good about it. Just literally it's, ask them what uh -huh. their their perspective, their perception is of the way that you present your feelings. See okay. what they fucking say. Okay. You might be surprised. Okay. okay. One, you're getting them to do your work for you. Right. But two, it also will make, they will say and open up more to backtrack whatever the fuck comes out of their mouth when they start to just like do the word vomit thing. Uh -huh. And you can just get in there whenever you feel most comfortable. Like, okay, I'll take over from here. Right, Cause right, then you can either right. agree or disagree. Right, cause they either might say nothing and mm -hmm. just like shut down and They're just be like. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if they do, that's, a, that's an indicator. That's an indicator, right. Um, but then there's also the guys who just like don't know how to talk about their feelings. And so like maybe they- well, she do doesn't know how to talk about her feelings either. Right, I guess she's putting all the work on their end kind of too, to be like, hey, tell me all the feelings that you think that I'm yeah. feeling for you. So I'm saying like reverse engineer that. That's a pretty good perspective. It's a good approach. Thank you. What? You seem a little, um, uh, a little more surprised about this <laughs> than I think. No, no, I'd I like just, I, I just, um, sometimes I go into things being like, oh, here comes the sales pitch. Here comes the sales pitch. Here we go. You just think I'm always just selling. You are always selling. No. I genuinely think that people who sell for a living, especially as well as you do, aren't always aware of even even the smallest things. Like I know that you've got like your your like big go-tos and stuff like that, but like I genuinely think that people who sell for a living don't entirely know how to turn it off 100%. Our emotional intelligence. What? Our emotional intelligence. 
Yeah, I mean, just that on top of just like all of the habits that get intertwined into being a sales person. A sales person? A sales person. Hello, I'd like you to buy my products, please. I'd like you to buy my products, please. Are you um, interested in purchasing this? My pen or yours? My girl guy cookies. <laughs> there was a YouTuber today. I would love to go door to door something. Cook, go. Whoa. Girl Scout <laughs> cookies. There's a drama YouTuber today who like after his video of like talking about people getting arrested and like sexual assault, like all this like crazy, like intense stuff. At the end of the video, he finishes up by being like, hey, so my daughter and her troops are selling girl guide cookies or, or oh, it's called girl guides in Canada. I think we've talked about this as well. It's too. not girl guides. Yeah, girl scouts. Girl guide cookies, girl scouts cookies or whatever, uh, link in the bio. That girl and her squad, her her troop are about squad to make- up. Fucking, how does it work? Do they, they don't make a cut of that, right? They raise money for their troop. How does this work again? I've never been a Girl Scout. <laughs> I just feel like, is this an MLM? Like, are they MLMing us? I'm sure. With their Girl Scout cookies? Potentially. Oh my God, these little children are scamming us. I mean, someone's scamming somebody. Saying no to a Girl Scout at like out front of like a grocery store is the have fun and hardest help. fucking. Oh, we literally will have like, I remember last year there was Girl Scouts outside of our grocery store. And I'm not kidding. We had, cause I had already bought them from like, a handful of other people because same thing I get, I get sucked in. We had like eight boxes of fucking Thin Mints in our freezer. Love a frozen Thin Mint, by the way. It is elite, it is superior. And it's so hard to walk by a Girl Scout and not, and just like they're, and like, you know that they're actually, I was gonna say, you know that they're probably really nervous to like ask people, but I feel like some of these Girl Scouts are fucking ruthless. Savage. Savage. They go, I want to be first place, mommy. Yeah. And mom says, good, get up there. I would have loved to see you as a Girl Scout. Mm. Um, Boy Scout? Do Boy Scouts not sell the cookies? They don't. My mom told me that you had to have a dad to be in Boy Scouts. <laughs> oh my God, that's the meanest, most fucked up thing I've ever heard. I know. You Honestly, it probably wasn't really healthy for you to be a Boy Scout. Yeah, but I don't know how to do something. <laughs> yeah, because then you could like fix a toilet or something maybe. But now I don't need to because I have you. Yeah, that's true. My dad coming this week though has a whole to-do list. list. Yeah, oh, things to do. <laughs> um, no, I uh, I think that my favorite is like when you know someone's about to try and like sell you something at the grocery yeah. store. My favorite is to grab their attention. I just get them there right into their eyes before they can do it to you. And the moment they start to, to open their mouth, just. And then you you shake your head no. No, just no. Oh, yeah. I'm the person who like, just like I either- You gotta, you gotta cut it off. Pretend that I'm on my phone, like like on a phone call, just like literally be like, oh my God, yeah, sorry. Like I'll make sure to pick up like a new Starts box ringing. of LaCroix. Oh yeah, oh, that's so <laughs> crazy. Wow, double call. Ah. <laughs> or I just like, I, I just head down, laser focus straight in front of me and I just fucking power walk past. I and... wish nothing more than we could just switch bodies for one day. <laughs> I think, uh, I think that we would both hate that. I would just sit there and play with my boobs all day. There's not much to play with, but and my okay. butt cheeks. Okay. That, oh, one of the other questions actually was about your butt cheeks. Okay, go ahead. Um, the question Great butt was: Does <laughs> literally does Jeremy let you touch his butt? Like just a nice, polite grab. Um, there's not much choice in this house. <laughs> <laughs> I, as I've said before, if I can feel the energy creeping up behind me, I mean, I walk around my house clenched <laughs> because. N there's no safe place in this home when Lauren's hands <laughs> are just around. Or when you're walking up the stairs on behind you. I have seen, so I saw a thing on TikTok where yeah. it's literally just, it's just so many couples. It brings me comfort to know that every couple is like this. And if you're not like this. You know what it is? It's just like, it's just that it's so random sometimes that guys, even like if you don't work out, just have a fucking badonk -a donk I just walk around with it, like a just trunk, caked just up. caked up. I got a semi truck. Got a fucking there. semi truck. The old back dumpy trucky. The old dumpy truck. And I'm gonna I when we first met, your butt was huge. Yeah. Thick. Babe, once assistant comes through, yeah. things get into their place. Mm -hmm. All the things are where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Six pack, dump truck, hot as hell. This time next year? When I'm 40. Yep. Okay. Yep. I am, um, so I have been consistent. Also, I've done two and a half weeks of working out every single weekday. That's hot. Feeling pretty good about that. You're pretty great. Not feeling good about the bender that's about to go down from Thursday until Sunday. Don't love that. <laughs> well, then also your parents will be here. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm still staying on my meal plan though when they're here. So we'll, it'll be, it'll be like not as bendery as like birthday palooza. You say bender as if you're like gonna go just like hop off the fucking deep end. No, but like 
drinking, even if you have like two or three drinks every single day is much more, it's two or three times than zero. Well, there's that. There's that. The yeah. math do be math in. <laughs> Unequivocal. What I was gonna say though, is that like from in the last two and a half months, I've been able to squat 30 more pounds than when I started. That's my strong girl. Yeah, for a little noodle ass body like mine. You got noodle tendencies. I got noodle tendencies. Lauren's one of the weakest people I've ever encountered. Okay, so now I can squat 110, so shut up. I'm proud of you. Yeah, me too. You basically squat, squat me. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mia's over here lifting the gym. Oh my God, Mia can squat 205 pounds. It's insanity. It's fucking crazy. That's me. She can squat me. That's you. Any more questions? Let me see. I feel like there's, I feel like we got one more. Let's do it. Oh, people want to know is boyfriend Jeremy co crypto 101 ing, which I think is referring to my new project. I'm not. This is a, 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 a solo venture. This is a solo venture. And like, I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. I, I read Jeremy some of my scripts last night. And I'd be more nervous to do this than, than like, I feel like you are. I mean, I'm going to get destroyed either way. Is what do you what, mean? Like, I'm going to get fucking roasted because when you are- I, I'm going to get in there and they fucking do the Lauren thing. Are you kidding me? I mean, <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're I'm going to get absolutely obliterated, but it's okay because I feel like I'm going into it knowing that this is like a controversial topic. And also too, I'm, I'm going into it knowing that there are not, like the way that there are like fucking millions of lifestyle creators who are talking about like, you know, vlogging and what they're eating and their fashion and stuff like that. There is, it's like a much more niche space since it is so new of doing like crypto and NFT content. And then like pair that with an audience that I've already built for 10 years of people who do want to learn about it and people who very much don't want to learn about it. Where it's like, if you were to start and like, this is your first time making content, I think for the most part, the people who find your content are people that are looking for it. Right. But now I'm like, I have all these people who are interested in uh, what I've been doing for the last 10 years. And it's like, hey, like over on this little side thing, I'm doing this over here, this little side thing. I can't wait until like hot girl explains crypto is your number one search term. Oh my God. Yeah, but like, fuck. And so like, I, I just know that there's, there's um, do, being, being kind of like the first ish, being early to anything new, you're gonna have the arrows in your back no matter what. It's gonna be fine. I'm still proud of you. I think it's great. I'm excited. I'm you excited. Um, do we have a guest next week? Um, we yeah, Mom DIY, back on the pod. Oh, I thought we had like a new, like a fun new person guest. Um, they have ghosted me, but not on purpose. I think they're just really busy because like they're a, they're a pop and TikToker right now. Yes, of course. Yes, it's got it. Okay. But uh, Mom DIY on the pod next week. Great. Yeah, we're gonna be love good. it. Yeah, I'm excited. I love that. Um, we had a big week. Who is gonna win the Super Bowl? The what are what are the odds actually? No idea. Hmm. I'm gonna go Rams just because uh, L.A. I'm gonna go Joe Burrow, but Rams. Joe. Oh, that's the that's the fucking guy that everyone's obsessed with. Yeah. Yeah, the swaggy guy. Yeah. Joey okay. B. He is on the Bengals, or is he on the Rams? He is on the Bengals. He's on the Bengals. I have yep. no fucking idea. Uh, Lafia. I can't believe, did, did anyone say hi to Lafia last week? No, definitely not. Lafia, I, I, gotta be honest, I wouldn't forget. I don't think that you've said hi to Lafia for many episodes. Well, hello and goodbye, Lafia. I'm excited for next week. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Love y'all. Okay, bye. Bye y'all.